So I'm here with Rocio. Rocio, how is Migs doing? He's doing good. We did a video visit. He's He looks healthier. He looks happier. Um, he's excited of being clean in there. I'm like, let's stay clean. He, he says he will. Um, he looks motivated to being clean. And what about the motivation for Carla? How is she doing? She's doing good. She wants she she wants to go to detox, and we're actually gonna go look for a place today, cause she mentioned it to me. But I wanted to wait for her to mention it again, where I could see that she was serious, where she doesn't feel like she has to run run away from it. But it's been more than twice, so today we're gonna go look for a detox place for her. Uh, you sent me a picture of Carla and her brother Ken eating sushi. It looked like sushi a, a few days ago. How was that interaction? Is she talking more to her family, her mom, her brother? Um, she doesn't talk to anyone. I think the only one she's actually seen is him and her cousin. But I've seen her a lot more comfortable with him. Like, she needed it. She was just afraid of of how it was gonna be, but she was comfortable with it. She was happy afterwards. And you saw the the donations, the gifts that she received from, from people all over the country. Uh, she has a puppy that doesn't have a name yet, but <laughs> all these things, all this support, all these things that will distract her from that you know that former lifestyle those are all little things that can help her inspire her motivate her to stay on this path don't you think i i do see that it shows her that there's people that care and she feels like she can do more for herself or for anybody out there she's i could see how it excites her to see that people care i think that's something that she really didn't have an idea of what it was not because it wasn't there, it was because she she thought it was. And when you get into a life of drugs, I think you shut yourself from knowing who, who cares about you. Absolutely. Uh, she got a letter in the mail uh, that there's a possible warrant out for her. So that's, she still, I recommend she confirm that, right? She just can't ignore it. Uh, that's that's not good if you ignore it it catches up to you sooner or later it will uh, but these steps that she's gonna take as far as detox and and that's that should be helpful um, and um, how do you feel about her getting that letter um, well it, the letter does say that she has a warrant for failure to appear and that there will be a hundred dollar bond I told her let's go take care of it and if they want to hold you and I'll just go ahead and pay the bond so they let you out right away. You just need to take care of it. So either way, we, we're going to go to court and take care of it. The detox that you folks are going to visit today, what are you hoping to that Carla gains from there? Uh, there's some programs where it's like, a, you know, 10 days, 5 days, 30 days. Uh, does she just kind of want to be rid of blues out of her system? Is that the ultimate goal? She wants to detox her body to start going to complete sobriety. She doesn't want to use anymore. And what she said to me is that it, she just hates hurting. And she wants to detox to see if they give her anything that's going to stop her from hurting. So we're going to do, we're going to go look for a place she feel comfortable feels comfortable with. She wants something close to how, here. But right now I, I'm as lost as her. We're gonna go get information and see what, what the steps are. Yeah, I think that's where the Suboxone comes into play, Subutex, Methadone, those help uh, with that withdrawal, right? So they're, they're, they're drugs, but it's less dangerous than than blues mm -hmm. right yeah. so and then they could she, she would be able to wean off of methadone or subutex or, or suboxone easier in the future uh, plus there's a shot called vivitrol 
she could use she they probably give her that in the future once she's clean once a month and that helps with cravings going forward okay so I know that's been successful for a lot of people so uh, they're gonna give her options but I think go, walking through that front door getting information that's a big step mm -hmm. you know that's something that that that, uh, that she's willing to do that's great she's been asking about it she has an open mind towards that I think that's that's a win right there right because you know what's happening Rocio is she's off the street nobody's influencing her right in a negative way mm -hmm. on the contrary the people that are influencing right you me lost in phoenix uh family subscribers the comments positive 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 right uh the puppy now she's responsible for a puppy right mm -hmm. so these are things that are motivating her to Maybe sobriety isn't a bad thing. Maybe maybe I'm missing out on uh, good things in life, right? Uh, so all that is motivation, and I think that's why it's important to continue to support her. I think you're doing a, a great job, baby steps, little by little. You're not forcing her. You're not on her every day. It's at her pace, at her timeline, when she wants, when she's able to. Uh, you don't allow her to just do whatever she wants in here, right? There's rules. Mm -hmm. There's guidelines. She's respecting them as best she can, and I think that's amazing. I think. Uh, how do you feel about all that? Like, did you did you think when you started this that you would end up here where you're at now? I knew it was going to be hard, but I knew I could make I could do it. I'm a very determined person, and I I'm the type of person that failure is not an option for anything i'll sit there i'll have the patience but i always have to figure out a way if one way doesn't work out i'll think even though if it takes all night for me to think over i'll think it over and i'll find another way to approach it and the one thing i did tell her you're an adult you're not a kid i'm not going to yell at you you're not going to get in trouble you know what you're doing i'm going to explain things to do you but you have to put in a balance what you want i'm not going to force it and that's mainly how i talked to her i i let her feel like an adult and that she has control, so it's her choice where she leads, and that's what mainly helps. But I mean, I knew that it was going to be hard, and it is hard. But there's a, there's always a way when there's a will. It's going to continue to be hard, right? Because uh, detox isn't going to be easy. After detox, it won't be easy. When she's at zero pills, it won't be easy. It's going to be struggles and, and obstacles, but. That support is going to be key. Right? Support is going to be key, and so I think you've done a, an amazing job of stepping in and, and helping. You know, because again, you have a big heart. Um, last time I talked to you, we were talking about how we would like to support you and help you with the. Uh, you know, the. I mean, it has to. There has to be a financial impact on you when you bring in somebody, hmm. right? That you don't know. And you're trying, and they're battling addiction, right? Whether that's food or electricity or water or, you know, your time. Uh, for again, somebody you you recently met, right? You recently met her, but obviously she touched your heart because okay, Migs is in here. He's locked up. I can't just throw her out. That that would be wrong to do because she has nowhere to go. It's not like she has. Uh, people say all the time, "What, bro? Why don't you take her home? She has no home." Take her to her mom's house. Her mom lives in another country, mm -hmm. right? Carla belongs in the United States, not not in Mexico, right? So um, you're stepping in and you're making a big impact, a big difference in another person's life. So again, that, I think that's admirable. I'm gonna put your, uh, your cash app in the video description for people that wanna help you, right? Mm -hmm. While you help others, right? So I th again, that's amazing. Do you happen to know it off the top of your head? Um, yeah, it's dollar sign C H I Y O Chio 1107. Got it. Um, I'm going to say thank you very much for talking to me, Rocio. Thank you for the update. I'm glad that Migs is feeling better, sounding better. He told you to keep Carla clean. Uh, I hope that she gets clean on this side so that when he gets out that'll motivate inspire him to 
stay clean like, and, and then stay clean together and be make a positive impact on both of their lives right because I don't see Carla going back to the street that would be a big you know change for her right because she's kind of liking this right living in indoors and a bed and then showering every day and and uh, and pretty soon if she's talking about detox she's never talked about detox in the past I've known her for a year and a half here she's talking about detox and she'll be talking about a job soon right because she wants a car she wants a driver's license she wants to dance she wants to go out she wants to pay for her meals she wants to do different things right things with that 20 year olds do right she's like we're gonna go get our nails done and i'm gonna get a job and i'm like yes you can come on let's do this so we have a lot of plans i i, I have a lot of plans out there she's she has a list of plans and I, that, that makes me excited to know that she's actually having um, a mentality of stability and she knows that the only way she can get it is being clean the plans for the past three or four years when she was on the streets was survive today how can I make money to pay for these pills every for three four years that's it that's it that's all she was thinking and now you're right she's thinking about what a, tw a, a typical 20 year old in this country is thinking about right mm -hmm. doing let's go do our nails let's go get some sushi let's go eat real quick that's amazing and you have a lot to do with that so thank you very much for being an, an awesome human that's willing to help mm -hmm. others, okay? I really appreciate you. The Big Lit family, the Big Lost in Phoenix family is very appreciative of you. So uh, thank you, Rocio. We'll stay in touch and we'll talk soon, okay? Okay.